What's up, everybody? Anton Curley here, and welcome back to the e-commerce lifestyle podcast. This is our bi-weekly show where every new episode is designed to help e-commerce store owners to increase their revenue, automate their operations, and become the authority in their niche. So if you have an e-commerce store or you're thinking about building one, go to your podcast player of choice, search for e-commerce lifestyle, look for my face, click subscribe, and you'll get notified every time a new episode goes live. Now for today's episode, I'm gonna be answering a question that that was actually submitted via YouTube. And the question reads, I'm thinking of spending a lot of money on ads with an engagement campaign and building my brand step-by-step -step until I start getting customers. Is this a good strategy? No. No, it's not. Please don't do this, okay? So I wanted to record this as quick as possible just in the hopes that they see this. I'll link them to it so that they don't start blowing money where they don't need to and so that they can start getting sales early on, just like you can as well if you follow what I teach over at dropshiplifestyle.com and what I'm gonna recommend in this lesson. So let's kind of dissect this question, right? Brand new store this person has, just launching a new store. They wanna build their brand, which is awesome and something I highly encourage people to do, but over time, that's key. This is something you don't do from day one. Of course, some things should be in place, but as far as investing time and money into it, that is a much longer term play, okay? So basically they're saying also, they're planning on spending a lot of money on ads, or at least they're thinking of spending a lot of money on ads with an engagement campaign. Now, let's talk about what an engagement campaign is. That is when you bid, basically on Facebook, and choose engagement as your objective. What is engagement? It can be comments, it can be likes, it can be shares. It's people engaging with whatever you post and put money behind to promote. These are some of the worst campaigns if you're looking to make money straight away. And I would encourage anybody, this person and anybody else with a new store, the goal is to make money right away. Now, what we do, right, and what we build at Dropship Lifestyle and what I've been doing since 2007 is trying to build stores that can be as profitable as possible while putting in the minimum amount of work. Not because we're lazy, but why would you want to have to do more or invest more to get results? Why not go for the easiest wins from day one and then build on that over time? So this person says they want to spend a lot of money on ads. At that point, we're on the same page. Good for you. Let's start small, but let's reinvest into ads once we know they're working. Working, but then they get to the point with an engagement campaign. Again, that's where we fall off. Engagement campaigns do have a time and a place to be used, but this is much further on in a store's life cycle. And the return on investment that you'll get strictly from engagement campaigns is not going to be where it can be if you put those same ad dollars to a different place from day one. So what's my advice though? Obviously I'm saying don't do this, but what should you do, at least in my opinion? Well, take whatever that budget is that you have determined you wanna spend. Break it up into between $15 and $30 a day that you're going to invest into paid ads, but you're going to put it into Google Shopping ads, where the people that actually see the ads have intent and they're likely to buy, meaning they're people that are searching for what it is you're selling, and you're not telling Google, because these are Google ads, you're not telling Google, hey, I want engagement on my ads. You're saying, hey, I want sales, and Google is gonna show these products to people that actually want to buy them. So put your money there so that your store can generate sales from day one. The way you phrased it in your question was that you wanted to do engagement until you start getting customers. Well, if you go for customers first and use the highest converting source of traffic, remember, go for the easy wins, and that is with Google Shopping, then you can get sales from day one, you can make money, you can have profits. And over time, if you want to start investing more into the brand building side of things, which again is a great long-term strategy, things like having unique content pieces written, things like having unique social assets created, even memes or educational infographics, things that can really get shared around and help you become the known brand in your niche. Again, those are things that make sense to start engagement campaigns for, but not before you have sales. It should be the exact opposite. Focus on Google Shopping, get those customers. Focus on dynamic remarketing ads on Google, but also on Facebook. As you make money, as you actually know that your store is gonna work and people want what you have, take a portion of your profits and only your profits, invest it into great content, invest it into great social assets, and then put very small engagement campaigns to work so that you're building up your social reach and that more and more people in your industry are familiar with you. But there's not any reason to invest even a dollar into that before you're 
you're making money, you're profitable, and you have your actual conversion campaigns dialed in. So hopefully you got value from this episode. Hopefully um, you specifically that posted this implements this before you waste any money on engagement campaigns early on. Building your brand is great, but it is something to do over time. If you want more information on how to do that, I will post a link in this podcast description for other resources I have on brand building. And as always, if you got value from this episode, go ahead, give it a like, leave a comment below. Be sure to subscribe so you can get notified every time a new episode goes live.